Hey, this is Candice, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I am going to break teach you how to break down as you are paying your loans. How do you split out the principal versus interest? I actually got this question, went looking on my YouTube channel thinking I'd already created it, and I can't believe after all this time, I've never taught you guys this. The first thing to know is when you are breaking down your principal versus interest, you need to make sure you have the account set up. So you need to make sure that you have a loan with a balance and that you have an interest expense account inside of your QuickBooks. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in, you're going to write your check, whether this is a check number, it says online, EFT, whatever it says, perfect. The date you paid the check, you can do this inside the right checks or the check register screen, it doesn't really matter. You're going to choose the vendor and the vendor is going to be the place you owe the money to. So in this example, I have Wells Fargo Loan, 123 Main Street. So you're going to have your loan, your payment amount. And then on the statement, it should break down your interest versus principal. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick your loan and the amount of principal. And this will change month to month. And then you're going to have interest. You can either have mortgage interest or just interest expense, depending on what you want to see on your profit and loss. So you'd break it down like that. How much is interest or how much is principal and then how much is interest? Typically, depending on the type of loan you have, usually the interest is the larger amount and the principal is the lower amount. If you make a principal payment reduction, you would just add this. Now, if you have escrow or things like that, you would actually add an escrow account um, that would end up being an asset account. We'll go over that at another date if you guys need that. Comment below the video and let me know. Candace, show me how to break down escrow. Um, Candace, I don't even know how to add the loan and the asset. How do I do that? Let me know as well. I can create a video for you. But if you've already created those, this is what you're going to do for your payment. If you liked this tip, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do tips and tricks every week as well as give me a thumbs up. Up above, on the, the you'll see where it says weekly tips and tricks up on the top right. Feel free to click on that. It will take you to a page where you can put your name and email address, which will let you subscribe to my weekly tips and tricks. And I'll actually email them out to you each week so you don't miss them. And you can always email me and ask for specific tips. If you don't find them on my YouTube or blog, feel free to message me and I'll create a tip for you. If you are struggling with QuickBooks, you've been watching YouTube channel after YouTube channel, you like the way I teach, but you want to learn QuickBooks from beginning to end, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course. You can check it out at the I or the description below, or just go to confidencewithquickbooks.com. It's an online training that will take you from A to Z, along with a place where you can ask me questions inside of a personal membership site. Feel free to check that out. I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Thank you for trusting me and thank you for watching this. Bye-bye. <music>